Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to embed a Google Sheet into a Google Sites website. My name is Tyler Osborne. So to embed a Google Sheet into your Google Sites website, you should have two things open. You need your Google Drive open as well as your website that you're trying to um, build. So let's start in the Google Drive and um, you need to find the file that you're trying to share. So for me, it's this 21 cent test file that I want to share. Before you can share it on a Google site, you need to set up sharing permissions, otherwise the people visiting your website won't be able to see it. So to do that, let's go to Google Drive, find the file, right click on it, and go to share. Now, um, what you wanna do is go to the advanced options. And right now, this particular file is set up so that anybody at the Battle River School Division can see it, but this is gonna be a public website, so I want anybody to be able to see it, so I have to change that. And I'm gonna go with this on option at the top here, anyone with a link. I don't need the top one, public on the web, because that means that search engines can find the file and I don't necessarily want that. It's okay if people find my website, but I'd like the file to, to, to remain hidden from the search engines. Um, but anybody on the website will be able to see it. So I'm gonna say anyone with the link and then I'm gonna press save. And then done. So it's now shared properly and it'll actually show up. One of the most common mistakes that I see on Google sites when I visit other people's websites is that they haven't properly shared the documents. And so they come up as, um, come up with errors, things like a 401 error or 403 error or something like that. Anyways, um, let's put our Google sheet into the website now. So what you need to do is you need to go over to the insert button on the on top right hand side. Um, so if you're on pages or themes, you'll have to click the insert button. Scroll down until you see Google Docs and there's a Google sheet right there. Let's click on that. Now it's going to give us anything that we've recently worked on, or you can also just search for things. So I'm going to search for 21 cent test because that's what it was called. And there it is. It's right at the top. So I'm going to click on it once. Now you can click and drag it in, but I often find that it comes up with errors when I do that. I don't know if it's a glitch in Google system or what, but if you click on it once, it highlights it in blue and then you press the insert button and it'll just plunk it into your website. So this is the 21 cent um, test spreadsheet that I made before. And you'll see that it just kind of plunked it wherever. It didn't really have a plan for it. And this is where you get to move it around. So you can see as I hover over top of it, my mouse changes from a cursor to the four directional arrows. When I have the four directional arrows, I can click on it and drag it to the place that I want it. So if I wanted it right beside this video here, I could leave it right there. Or if I wanted it beside my awesome summer, I could drag it down right there. And if I wanted to have its own um, row, I can drag it up or down until I see that blue bar right there. And then if I let go, it'll create a new row for it. Now to resize it, what you need to do is click on it once and you get the dots on the outside. And then you can drag the dots to wherever you want and resize, this, resize the spreadsheet. So if I only wanted it that big, I could resize it like that. Now I'm gonna make this one a lot bigger. Now, so I'm going to make the one underneath the bigger two. And then we're going to go to a preview of what this website looks like so that we can see what our visitors are going to see when they visit this website. So if it was published, this is what it would look like. I got my video at the top here. And we're going to wait for these things to load. They're a little bit slow loading when you embed them like this. Now they can actually just scroll through and view all the information. Same with the dock underneath. And if they want to open this up in Google Sheets, what they can do is press that arrow right there on the top right hand corner and it'll open up a new tab. And there is my document right there. So this is a view only file. I, it's going to let me edit it because I'm the owner of this particular file, but we didn't set, um, set it up so that the people viewing the file could edit it. All right, so I'm going to go back to my website here and I can click this X to get out of the preview. And that's all you need to know about adding a Google Sheet to your Google Sites website. If you like this video, please leave me feedback on my website or um, you can leave a comment on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.